Roy's Roebuck Rut has been very successful. Two outings have given us two deer and three foxes. Well, this evening is the culmination of the last few weeks' efforts. He's going after one of the largest animals he's seen on his ground. The reason we're back down on these fields is when we were here the other evening, there was an old boy that came out into this field questing behind a doe. We've subsequently seen him a couple more times and he's, he's definitely cracking on. He's probably past his best. And if we are lucky enough that he's still feeling a little bit fruity, we might be able to get him to come to the call as well. But we're almost halfway through August. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get any response out of him, but you can always live in hope. We know we are in the transition phase of the rut here. We've already seen a roebuck chasing a doe on the drive down, but we're also seeing single females with young who are concentrating on getting those fat reserves replenished. Now again, it's a little bit different tonight because we're not just searching around for any old cold buck. We're targeting a specific animal. Roy is very focused on the job. Oops. Back on track, we get to the corner of the big buck's home field. There is no sign of him and the wind is messing about. Roy uses some thistle down he picked up earlier to check the direction. Straight down then. Carefully we work up the hedge line and have a calculated risky squeak. After a good five minutes this young buck pops out for a look. Obviously had the opportunity to shoot that buck, but that's not the one that we were after. He looks like quite a promising youngster coming on. He looked a bit skinny, obviously he's been nutting quite hard. With him coming out of the territory that the old boy was in, I'm not overly hopeful that the old boy is still in a residence here, or if he is, he's finished, he's just couched up and recuperating from a long run. I think what we'll do, we'll stalk the background, go and have a look in a couple of the other areas and then come back out here and just see if he comes out to feed on the field margins at last light that might be our only chance it's always nice to see a youngster come in there. Roy works around the block of woodland stopping at each corner for a squeak along the top edge of the wood there is a lone doe feeding we're going to have to be careful not to scare her as we're just a few hundred metres from coming back round to the big bucks field let's see if me and cat David can keep still enough We're now able to see the buck's territory again. There's no sign, so cool as a cucumber Roy decides to sit down for 10 minutes and see if our row emerges. Time to catch up with texts. Patience pays off and up pops our buck. Yeah, it is our boy. Don't you love it when a plant almost comes together? As we start working around, a youngster appears. This could be really good or really bad. He's a perfect goal candidate. And he's a perfect goal candidate. The young buck moves into the wood. Roy takes his chance and moves further up the field to our right to get some ground behind the buck. As he moves, David spots that the yearling has not left the pitch and is still on the sidelines. We are now in the open and the buck spooks and tears across the field below us bringing the big buck to his feet. This is no longer going to plan. As is often the case, the buck stops for a last look. Roy is happy with the shot, but it's longer than he'd expected, 160 yards. I'm heard. Excellent. Uh, uh, superb stuff. We'll just drag him out into the light and have a good look at him. What a stunning, stunning deer. We were very lucky there. As we started coming into him, the young buck appeared back on the edge of the woodland again and bolted straight in towards the old boy. The old boy lifted and started cracking off right in towards the woods. And uh, luckily, he just had to uh, make the fatal error, as <laughs> unfortunately a lot of them do, and just have one look, last look back. And it, uh, it just gave me the opportunity to get the rifle on the sticks quickly and take the shot but uh, yeah that was uh, absolutely stunning a beautiful stalk and it's so nice when you uh, get the beast that you're actually after at the beginning of the day so uh, yeah we've had a, a wonderful afternoon seen a few other deer 
um, but ended up with the right cold beast, so couldn't be happier. So a nice animal worthy of measuring. Although it is missing the back tines, it could scrape a bronze. Once Roy has boiled out the head, he'll have to wait three months so it can dry out before getting the head weighed and measured. But if it misses out on a medal, it won't matter. This is one of those stalks that had it all.